All right, guys, so what we have here is a duty belt for an unarmed position, and it has seen a little wear. It's a little dirty, so I'm going to show you guys how to clean this up and make it look almost new again and look a lot better. So just stay tuned and check this out. All right, so the items that I'm gonna be using to clean this duty belt and restore it are Dawn dish soap, this little torch lighter, and this bottle of scuff cover. It's a black no buff shoe polish. It's basically just a shoe dye um, with the sponge at the top of the lid here. So, um, as you can see there, there's a sponge here. It's brand new. You push down, the, the ink comes out, and then use the brush to, to brush it into the into the shoe. In this case here, I'm using it on this duty belt right here. You can see the, um, the radio holster. It's got some uh, scuff marks on it, some threads popping out. Duty belt uh, is starting to fray at various spots, so I'm going to deal with the fray. I'll show you how to do that, and I'm going to show you how to clean this and make it nice and black again. So first things first, I'm going to remove the radio from the holster. Try to do this with one hand. Pull that out. Got my got my radio here. <clears throat> remove a flashlight. And I'm gonna take all of this stuff apart. So this belt is a Bianchi tactical nylon belt with a Velcro inner this would be the uh, hook side and then the inner belt would be a loop side um, inner belt velcro this belt does not require keepers when you put the belt on around you you tighten it down you buckle it up all this velcro around the around here ends up uh, linking up with the inner belt and holds it pretty firmly i've never had an issue with it coming off even in a, in a struggle it's pretty tight uh, only drawback to the nut to this the hooks on this uh, on this inner belt tend to fray the crap out of the fabric on your accessories so I'm going to show you how to get rid of this fray cleanly and to restore this nice and clean here's the one of the loops that holds uh, this part of the belt on you, you fold this over around the the buckle the buckle slides onto the belt here and then this loop then on the inside slides onto the belt and holds this loop down so it doesn't come off. So I got the two loops here. You see some fraying going on. Got this here. Then I got my radio holster. It's leather. Um, some of the threads are coming out. I'll show you how to clean that up and get rid of this white. Uh, I believe on this one here I rubbed up against a wall during a, uh, a, a struggle and uh, with somebody and got some paint on there. So I'm gonna show you how to clean this off and make it look nice again. And here's the D uh, clip that holds this holster on. Nice thing about this is that when the holster is vertical or sideways, it stays on. But as soon as you flip it upside down and pull up, it comes right out of the holster there. So you can pull the radio out quickly and you can also reholster the radio very quickly. One of my favorite types of radio holsters here. Also, this protects this radio from getting banged up. Even though this radio is very sturdy, very durable, I still like to keep it protected. So it's uh, it's inside this holster all the time. All right, so now that I've gotten this uh, holster pulled apart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these pieces and I'm going to get a, a bucket of, of water with a little bit of the Dawn dish soap in it. And I'm going to clean the dirt and grease out of all of these pieces, including my handcuff case here. So what I've got here is handcuff case, I'll pull the cuffs out and I'm gonna wash this stuff first. I'm gonna get as much as much dirt and grease out. Look at how it's starting to turn light and it's discolored. Got some fraying on here. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up. So actually the first thing I wanna do is I wanna clean up some of this fraying. I'm gonna show you how to do that here. I'm gonna do it on this handcuff case. You can see 
how you've got this furry mess here. Doesn't look very nice. So what I'm gonna do here, this is nylon, which is essentially a type of plastic material. So when you use a little bit of heat on here, what's gonna happen is you're going to see this, this fraying just disappear. It just sucks right up. Just like when you when you do the end of a of a, a freshly cut nylon rope. You, you're basically preventing it from fraying up again. So uh, it's gonna clean this up so that it's not sticking out anymore. And that looks a hundred times better now. It's not gonna stick out. And this part's hidden anyway, so no big deal. Um, got some fraying here. So just gonna hit it with the torch very lightly and very quickly. You don't wanna melt it too much. You just want that those frays to just kinda suck in. So um, that's what I'm doing here. Just gonna clean up these pieces just to make it look a lot better. So clean this up. Okay, so now the fraying has disappeared for the most part. There's some fraying on the inside, but I'm not gonna worry too much about, about that. Just wanna clean this up a little bit. Be careful, it does get hot and you don't wanna touch that plastic when it's melted. So let it cool down a little bit um, or you can wear some leather work gloves and you can try to smooth it out a little bit but I just cleaned it up a little bit I'm just gonna hit these little pieces here just to just to clean up the fraying all right so just a real quick hit here this duty belt is about 12 years old been wearing it on duty for about 12 years now and I would say every six months or so I come along and I, I clean it up. So look here, you got a little bit of this fraying here. So I'm just gonna hit that with a torch and make it disappear. It cleans it up. All right. So I'm gonna dip the, the belt into the water with the soap. I'm just gonna use my scrubber and just scrub the belt down. Don't have to get too much into it. It's not just trying to work some of the grease and other stuff out of the belt. So clean up the, uh, the buckle, get all the dirt and out of the, out of the crevices in that. So now I'm going to rinse off all the, the soap out of, out of these pieces. So now I've got everything set out on the table to dry in the sun. So when this is dry, we'll come back and we'll finish this process up. All right, so I hit the hit this radio holster with the torch a little bit on the, where the threads are coming out fraying and that, that curled the threads up. These are all nylon threading. So that kind of curled it back up and stopped it from coming out any further. And I hit, it, hit this with some uh, multi-purpose cleaner, just a very light mist. And then I uh, rubbed it down and, and got most of this paint off. I'm gonna rinse it with a damp, damp uh, paper towel now to clean off all the dirt and grease before I hit this with um, with the uh, shoe black and uh, get this back to a nice black color, especially on the edges where you see the the leather the or the the brown of the leather coming back out. So I'm gonna hit this with that polish now. It's gonna clean this thing up. It's gonna make it nice and black all over again. I got the uh, the shoe black uh, scuff cover, basically the the black leather dye shoe dye, and I'm just gonna push down on the. Uh, the thing so it lets some of the ink out and you just brush it on and see we got it coming out here I'm just gonna brush it around where the uh, where the black leather turned brown again just gonna work it into those areas and just gonna work it around the entire holster just to re-black the whole thing and get it nice and shiny again It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but uh, this is just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera off now, and I'm going to uh, finish this up. All right, so now the uh, nylon is all dried out. I'm going to take the, uh, the shoe uh, cover with the sponge, and I'm just going to push it down in here. I'm going to brush this into the nylon all the way across the whole thing. Gonna turn all the pieces that get bleached white or get turned white. It's gonna turn them black again. And this doesn't soak into the nylon, guys. This just coats it. It's like a paint kind of. 
But once it dries, it's very black. It looks very, very nice. You can't, you cannot dye or, or you, you can't dye nylon. You can't make it soak into the nylon. You know, in a pinch too, guys, I don't know if you guys have ever done this or got like a drop of bleach on your black nylon tactical pants or whatever. This stuff can actually make the, the, the light spot disappear temporarily. When you wash them, it's going to come out again. But in a pinch, you can uh, get rid of those spots. And I do all the other accessories as well. Just get it blotted in there. Be pretty liberal with it. And then if there's too, too much left over, you can always blot it out with a dry paper towel. But just, just hit everything that's faded. And now here you have all the pieces that have been restored. They're nice and black again. And then you put it all together. And there you have it, guys. We have a nice and black duty belt. Of course, this is the nylon. You can do this with the leather, but skip the, the washing in the soapy water part. You can use a, a damp brush to brush out the dirt and work out the dirt, but you don't want to submerge it in the water if it's leather. But that's how you make a, a duty belt nice and clean and black again.